can you introduce about yourself yeah my name is path sarthi totally i have 3 years of experience currently i am working in arco soft systems and in this 3 years of experience i got a chance to work with microservices and spring boot and java 1.8 features and mysql and at the same time spring security and spring cloud also i have a hands on experience with java 1.8 features and i and also i have a good experience with microservices architecture design patterns and uh, spring and in spring security also i have good experience with uh, what the uh, implementation and jwt implementations these are the experience in, i have in, uh, in these 3 years what is spring boot and what are the advantages with the spring spring boot is a framework it is a extension of spring framework and uh, bas- basically by using this spring boot we can uh, develop this spring based applications only by using this spring boot we can uh, develop stand alone applications and web application and distributed applications the main advantage of the spring boot to, compared to spring is it will provide the actuate, actuators and the start, farm starters and also embedded servers these are the main advantage of the spring boot what is component scan component scan is it is uh, identify the what are the bean objects are available in the current projects uh, based on the basic path can you come again you will identify the av- available bean objects in the current project for that we are using the component scan annotation in the component scan annotation we are using the application registration path mm-hmm. nc class path we are mentioned in the component scan what is at the rate spring boot application annotation uh, whenever we mention the at the rate spring boot application annotation then it is a nc class for the spring boot application and this uh, this annotation is equal to enable auto configuration and configuration and uh, at the rate component scanning these three annotations are equal to at the rate spring boot and application annotation what is ioc container ioc container is a inversion of controller it is it is responsible for dependency injection and also ioc is a principle which is used to manage and collaborate the dependencies among the objects in the applications it is responsible for dependency injection how many objects will be created for a bean by ioc container yeah it is depends on we, um, if you use the singleton singleton then we will create only one object and uh, if we use the prototype then it is it is uh, we can create any type, any number of objects how to define the scope of the bean yeah scope scope of the bean by using the sorry sir i forgot that what is auto wiring auto wire is a process of injecting the dependent object in the target object by suppose we are we using the auto wiring concept in the spring boot applications like there is a concept called ui ui design and ui design and web design and service service design and after that jp persistent layer development after that database by using the persistent layer the persistent layer we can connect with the database here we are using the like repository concept we are injecting the repository concept in the service layer after that service layer will be injected into the web web design like that we are using the auto wiring for dependency injection we are using the auto wiring we can do auto wiring in three ways by using the field level and constructor level and setter level when you will get the ambiguity in the auto wire yeah ambiguity will be occurred when we are using the by type then it will be then we will uh, facing with the ambiguity problems because of when field field type field is returning the interface interface type then we will get the ambiguity problems how to resolve them to resolve that we are using the auto wire candidate equal to false or primary equal to true based on we can use any one of them what is runner in the spring runner means whenever we want to execute to our logic only once when our spring boot application is start then we are using the runner concepts we have also two two types of we can handle this two types by using the application runner interface and also command line interface for suppose we we need to access retrieve the data from the database it is a static data we, we got we want that data only once that's why in that way in that time we are using the runners where do we use runners in the project for suppose we need static data in that time every time we are connect we are com- communicate with the database then it will take long time and also performance issues will be occurred in that time we are using the runners by using the runners we can retrieve the static data from the database by using the ready ready for that reason we are using the runners to improve the performance of the applications what is profile in the spring boot yeah profile means if in the in the in the application there are several environments like site environment and production environment and uat environment 
for each environment we have separate database for the each each, each database we have separate passwords and uh, urls and uh, you, and usernames but this in this in this time we are using the profiles concept if we use the every time new passwords and uh, usernames and urls then we get we did there some mistakes in that uh, in that uh, data source properties to avoid these properties we are using the profiles concept by using the profiles concept we can avoid all these disadvantages what is actuator in the spring boot the actuator is providing the predefined features for the applications like it by using the actuators we can know about the project application status application url patterns and also how many fields are created and what is the thread dump and what is the heap dump like that we can identify what is the application status for that we are using the actuators can you tell me actuator endpoints yeah actu actuator endpoints shut down and uh, what is the difference between thread repository and jpa repository these two are available in the J data jpa data jpa framework thread repository is basically used to retrieve the data thread if you want to perform the thread operation then we are go for a thread repository if you want to starting and pagination and a query by example for this we are extending implementing the jpa repository can i execute find by methods by using thread repository find by methods yes sir what is the, what is the purpose of find by methods find by method means in the thread repository if you want to access the data and access the data then we are using the primary key by using the find by methods we can retrieve the data based on the primary key and based on the condition we can retrieve the data in the find by method means we can the method name is very important based on the method name only J jpa will create the appropriate sql query can i insert a record by using find by method can i insert a record using find by method no no it's not possible sir because of find by method by using the find by methods we can retrieve the data how to execute custom queries in the jpa sql queries we can uh, execute and also by using the sql queries also we can uh, execute sir yeah I want to execute a custom HQL query using JPA. How to do that? By using the direct query annotation, we can create the HQL query. Then a JPA will uh, execute that, sir. Can you explain Spring MVC architecture? The Spring MVC architecture, we have some uh, components. Those are dispatcher servlet and handler mapper and controller and view resolver and view. And disp dispatcher servlet is a friend controller and it is uh, responsible for post processing and pre processing. And whenever user send a request to, to the application, then the dispatcher servlet will uh, get that request and uh, pre-process that. After that, it will send that request to the handler mapper. Then the handler mapper will identify the controller appropriate, appropriate to that uh, request and uh, return that controller to the dispatcher servlet. And dispatcher servlet will uh, send that request to, to the appropriate controller. Then controller will uh, identify controller will return the model and view object and uh, model and view object to the dispatcher servlet then dispatcher servlet send that information to view resolver then view resolver will identify the file location and file type and return to the dispatcher servlet and dispatcher servlet give that information to the view and view rendering that information in the file this is the process of mvc architecture sir. okay what is the difference between controller and rest controller yeah controller is returning the web page like view file it will return because of directly here directly end user can communicate with the application end user can easily understand if controller will return the view file for that wise controller return the view file in the place of rest controller rest controller is equal to response body response body and also and the direct controller here rest controller will return the direct direct message to message we are using the rest control concept in the rest rest api development can i return the response from the controller directly instead of returning the view page can i return response from the controller yes we can uh, return sir how by using the response body we can return what is the difference between response body and request body response body is uh, whenever we want to return the direct message to the uh, clients then we are using the response body response body request body is whenever we sending request to the server then in the in the http request body we have we have a response body it means suppose we have send the input data to the server then by in the url then we are 
by using the response request body we can uh, take that input sir what is the difference between path parameter and query parameter both are used in the http get request only it means if you want to retrieve the data from the database by then we are using the get request based on the primary keys get request does not contain the request body that's why we are using the path parameters and query parameters in the path parameters we are using in the in the middle of the query url but in the query parameter we can use in the end of the parameter in, in the end of the url by using the path variable we can identify the path path parameter and also by using the query parameter we can identify the query parameters suppose i have a get request method in that method i have written the logic to insert a record into database table what will happen sorry sir repeat once again i have a rest controller in that okay. i have a method that method is mapped to http get request okay in general get request is used to get the data but in that method i have written the logic to insert a record into database table what will happen it's not possible sir are you sure yes sir how you develop the client application to access your rest api client application by using the swagger documentation we can develop the client application and also by using the rest template and also pn clients and web clients we can communicate with the server applications okay what is web client yeah web client web client is a interface we can if you want to use the web client then we have to give the we use the starter like a web flex starter it will it will perform the both asynchronous and synchronous requests for this in this in this time we are using the web clients then what is pn client pn client means we are using the pn client for load balancing purpose and also it will provide the security also in the web client means in the web client we are directly give the standard url but in the in the place of pn client we can dynamically change the url sir based on the load balance it will uh, take that url what is admin server in the spring boot yeah admin server is uh, it is responsible for placing all the all the all the applications actuated as what one place for this for this reason we are using the admin server in the applications it means we can easily identify what are the applications available in this project and what is the url url requests are available in this project for this reason we are using the admin server how do you perform unit testing for the rest api no sir i don't i don't have idea unit test have you worked on docker how to dockerize one spring boot application first we have to create image after that we have to create a container for the by using that image and uh, we will run that container then we will create sir so can you tell me the docker commands that you have used yeah copy and the cmd and uh, i'm asking docker commands sorry sir i forgot that actually i learn uh, but i forgot how to implement logging in the spring boot yeah by using the log forge we can uh, implement the log uh, logging it will uh, it will store the method uh, application execution information there are several st states are available in the logging those are info info var error and also debug and fatal by using the states we can identify the uh, logging information how do you maintain configuration properties in your application configuration by using the config server we can uh, we can do that what is config server config server is used to separate the configuration properties from the application it is divided in the application and uh, configuration uh, configuration properties here configuration config server is community you in the application we are storing the configuration properties in the git repository or svn in and the config server is communicate with the git repository and the and load that uh, configuration properties to the config server and config server is communicate with the applications application will uh, take the load the configuration properties from the config server how to connect with multiple databases using spring by using the profiles concept sir profile concept is used to change the database i want to connect with the two databases at a time using one application how to secure our rest api yeah basically we are using the rest we are using security purpose for for uh, j for oauth authentication authentication or by using the jwt also we can uh, secure by we can provide the security for our applications here oauth oauth authentication means it will it will using the other other application login details 
in the jw jwt means whenever we yeah, whenever we send a request to the server then server will uh, server will create one token and, and send that token to the client then after that client will send a request with the send a request with the token then uh, server will uh, verify that uh, credentials and request, send a re response to the server client sir so you told that you are working on the microservices so yes, can sir. you tell me any drawbacks with the microservices yes sir we have some drawbacks in the microservice it means we don't know how many apis we need to create in the microservices means it means for every one functionality we have to create one rest api we don't know how to it is very difficult to identify how many rest apis we need to create it is a main drawback in the microservices and also the the developer don't know how, don't know what is the full functionality of the application he can know only what what did he work that only he can uh, know about the application sir okay any other currently which version of java you are using in the project 1.8 sir which version of the spring boot you are using in the project yeah 2.7.01 fine good pardu i'm done from my side do you have any questions for me no no sir. good thank you okay